Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, uh, working through section F of ISO's 8th grade math skills. Today it's estimating positive and negative square roots. We've already done positive in a previous video, so today I'm just adding the negative bit, which kind of can throw some people off. Just got to think a little bit backwards. All right, so here's a little bit of review. Square root of 45, well, I know that the square root of 36 is 6. And I know that the square root of 49 is 7. So 36 is less than 45. 49 is more than 45. Uh, this is between 6 and 7. Between 6 and 7. All right, so now we throw this negative sign in here. You just got to kind of think about it a little bit backwards. I know that the square root or the negative square root of 121 is negative 11 and I know that the negative square root of 144 is negative 12. So there it is between negative 12 and negative 11. Negative 12 is less than the negative square root of 122 and negative 11 is greater than it. So between negative 12 and negative 11. There we go. And this is that same idea. I, I don't think there's a huge difference here. Um, I would think of the square root of 100 as being bigger than the square root of 99, but we're putting in integers, so we'll put 10. And then the square root of 81 is smaller, so we're going to put 9. Okay, These should be um, the integers that are closest, so it's got to be 9 and 10. You could put 11 and 8, and the statement would still be true, but they want the ones that are closest, and 9 and 10 are the closest integers to the square root of 99. Same idea with a negative square root. All right, so how about negative square root of 49, which is negative 7, and negative square root of 64, which is negative 8. All right, so now that we're dealing with negatives, we have to have them in this order, okay? We're working from least, negative 8, to greatest, negative 7. Negative 8 is less than negative square root of 59, which is less than negative 7. A lot of people will reverse those accidentally. And then the last um, set of problems or level of problems in IXL on this skill deal with these kind of things. The square root of 77 and what is it closest to? We're trying to do this without a calculator. Sometimes that gets a little difficult, but I think we should start here. The square root of 64 is 8. And the square root of 81 is 9. All right, so we know it's between 8 and 9. That rules these out because those are more than 9 because 77 is between 64 and 81. So the last thing we want to think about is what is 77 closest to? And, you know, if you think about it from 64 as opposed to the square root of 64, it's, it's 13 away from that. Okay, whereas, oops, it's only 4 away from 81. Now, square roots aren't perfectly proportional, like the way I'm kind of diagramming it. Uh, but I think we can rest assured that it's closer to 9 than it is to 8. All right, so I'd go with 8.7 as my estimate. Then we get a negative square root. Well, the first thing I think of is the negative square root of 100 would be negative 10. And that's pretty darn close, okay? Um, a, below that, we could do negative square root of 121. That would be negative 11. All right, so we know it's between negative 10 and negative 11. We can rule that out. We can rule that out. So, um, which one is it closer to, though? Again, 104. I mean, that is really close to 100, right? It's only 4 away from 100, whereas it's 17 away from 121. So I think I would choose um, the, the one that's closest to negative 10, which is right here, negative 10.1, as opposed to that, which would be closer to 121. One more with a bigger number here, and then we'll call it quits. Not a lot of people have their perfect squares memorized this big. I don't, so I assume a lot of 8th graders or ninth graders don't. Um, so negative 
the square root of 361. That's exactly negative 19. Um, and negative square root of 324. That's exactly negative 18. Again, not many people have their square roots memorized that high, but we know it's between negative 18 and negative 19. It's definitely not positive. All right, so that didn't help us. Which one's it closer to? It's a lot closer. 357 is a lot closer to 361 than it is to 324. So I think I'm gonna choose negative 18.8, which is closer to negative 19 than negative 18.3 is. All right, so there you go. Estimating positive and negative square roots. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.